Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're using Microsoft Copilot, be that the app for Windows 10 and Windows 11, or the online version of Copilot, you may well know that when you open up the app, you see one of two things. So as an example with the app, you see a blank startup page. And if we head over to the online version of Copilot, in this case, you will see these prompts or suggestions um, with little ideas and suggestions for you uh, to try out using the chatbot that aren't really tied to your previous chat history or interactions with the actual chatbot. Now, this could all be set to change. And according to a recent updated entry in the Microsoft 365 Roadmap site, it seems now that you'll soon have prompt suggestions in Copilot based on your chat history and interactions with the chatbot. So you won't be greeted with this um, blank startup page as we can currently see. Now this is according to the Roadmap site. And if we head over to that, here we can see prompt suggestions in Copilot Chat, which reads, get started in Copilot Chat quickly with automatic prompt suggestions that enhance your productivity by providing relevant and context-aware prompts based on your previous interactions. Now, the rollout start is September this year, as we can see, and that's for platforms, desktop, web, and Mac. So just making you aware of this if you are using the chatbot. Now, just on a side note, this is a feature that I personally hope Microsoft gives us an option to be able to toggle off. Because um, personally, I don't like a cluttered, almost spammed out look and feel when I open up Copilot. I like the fresh, clean look. And on the very few occasions when I do actually use the chatbot, which is more in the minority than the majority, um, I like to see a clean look. I don't want to have a whole lot of different spam and uh, history and suggestions and prompts that Copilot is going to give me. Um, to basically carry on a, a previous chat or um, start a new chat. So I certainly hope they do give us an option to be able to turn that feature off. But nonetheless, that is according to the roadmap site. So like what I hate it, Copilot is here to stay. And um, it's going to be interesting to see how this actually looks and feels when it rolls out. And when that does, um, obviously I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.